Hello YouTube, Pokey Intercept here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to set up stock monitors for Pokemon cards. A stock monitor, like the name suggests, monitors for changes in stock or price or title, etc. for a given website. It basically checks the website for you at a given interval or time and tells you if there have been any changes since the website was last visited. It works by opening the web page by itself on your browser without you having to manually type it in, so it's a very good solution if you want to be able to monitor lots of different websites at once and if you're hunting down a very hard to find item. <coughs> Hidden fates, ETBs. <coughs> It's completely free, there are paid plan options as well that allow you to monitor more sites and have a better refresh rate, i.e. a smaller check interval, but I find that the free plan is good enough for me, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So, the solution I'll be showing you guys today is a Chrome extension called Distill.io. I will go through exactly how to set it up and how it works in this video, so make sure to watch to the very end. So first of all, you want to be making sure that you're using Chrome Firefox or Opera as your browser, and then you want to install the extension. A quick Google search will help us with that, if not you can just navigate through their official website to find the extension and get it installed. Now once it's installed it should automatically be enabled, if it's not just check your extensions to make sure it is. And then you'll be presented with the option to sync across all your computers when you've installed it. You just need to sign in with your Google account if you do want to sync across all your computers. I'm not going to do that right now as I'm only running it on this one computer. But if you're running it on multiple devices, I definitely recommend you signing in. Or if you want to set up email alerts, you should also sign in now. Great. Now we can start adding websites to monitor. I have the website I want to monitor up, Magic Madhouse. Yes, they have an email notification feature, but sometimes this doesn't work properly and the email comes to you a few hours after they've restocked, which is no good for us if the item is a hard to find item. And some websites don't have this feature altogether, so it's always good to have those in your monitor list. So it's real easy to set up, right click the still monitor and then you'll be presented with two options. I suggest only monitoring for part of a web page because if you monitor for the full page and then they change their banner or something ridiculous, you're going to get a lot of false positives. So go with the second option. So once you've clicked on that, the selector view appears at the bottom of your screen and you just need to select which element of the web page you want to monitor changes for. In this case, for me, it's the notifications part here because if they had stock, this would not appear on their web page. So when they add stock in, this would disappear. So I want to make sure that I want to check uh, when this part of the website changes. So I'll just select that and save it, and then it'll take me to my watch list where I need to customize what happens when a change is detected. Over here, we have a couple of options. Source we've already taken care of, devices where the browser will open to load the page and track changes. If you sign in earlier, you're gonna have more options here and it's pretty self-explanatory. And the name can be whatever. The schedule checks is an important part. Um, here, we're gonna dictate how often we want the extension to open the web page and check for changes for us. I suggest using a random interval between one minute and 40 minutes or so. You can't make this interval too small because the site may think you're a bot and block your IP address altogether, And but you also want it to want the interval to be as small as possible because you want it to be as accurate as possible um, in terms of monitoring. So the actions part is the most important part and this is where you tell the extension what it needs to do when it detects a change. If you've signed in earlier, you can get this to send you an email. I definitely recommend doing so. On the free plan, you can also have pop-up notifications and audio notifications as well, which are already on. And that's it, guys. It's as easy as that. You can always go back to your watch list to edit these options, and you can now add more sites using the exact same steps I detailed before. So now, this will load the web page for you at the intervals you dictated and detect for the changes in your specific uh, web page element. And if it detects a change, it will execute the action for you, i.e. it will email you or give you a bell or whatever. You don't have to manually load websites and check them anymore. Isn't that great? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found this helpful, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to remain informed about Pokemon collecting in general, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.